Uh, dun, 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 how are you? Any uh, any bombs today? It's really it's a bombing season. It was the bombing season a couple of months, uh, last month, wasn't it? You know, it's sort of cause we we get bombs in London. We get bombs all the time. Bomb, 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 and we got quite used to it. Yeah, and it's sort of a blitz mentality that everyone's gone into, and people get hurt and killed, and, and even gas works get blown up now, which is kind of weird. But uh, you know, I think, but you know, it, it, uh, exactly. Um, <laughs> No, it's got into this thing where a bomb goes off, and if you're living in London, you go, where? A bomb? Where? Oh, OK, I'll go up uh, the Piccadilly line, <laughs> and then cut across the central line. OK, no, I can, on the tube, I can go around. No, it's all right. And, it, and you sort of build it into your programme, you know. You say, what, this whole road is closed off? Oh, right, uh, now there's another Boots, the chemist, in, uh, in Tottenham Court Road, so I'll cut this again, no problem, you know. And it's, it's a brilliant excuse as well. I think that we've all used that excuse. Oh, sorry, I said, world bomb scare. Oh, wonderful fucking excuse. Yes, the entire, all, my whole flat was closed down. Uh, wasn't allowed out of my flat. I uh, had to lie in bed and snore uh, for a lot longer until they checked out uh, my, my duvet, which had a sort of bomb, perhaps, maybe thing on it. And then I got up and I went to the bathroom and I had to check that out as well, because I had a maybe sort of toothbrush, maybe. And, uh... I, got, I got on a train. I got on a... Um, this is a bit Londonist, this, but I did. I got on a... Was it, was it a train? Or I can't remember. Now, I got on a train and, uh, um, uh, and a woman just ran up to the, the, the conductor or, uh, or, you know, not the conductor, what's it called? Uh, guard, that's it, the guard. Not called a conductor, because he does that. Um, but on the bus you have a conductor, don't you? Don't you? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Bus conductor. He doesn't conduct the bus. He doesn't go, oh, left turn here. All together now, for me. Bus for me. We love thee. Anyway, um, and so, yes, and so, this woman came and he ran up and said, there's a uh, unattended bag, unattended bag, the big bogey word, unattended bag, was over there. And she said, unattended bag. And we looked and we saw unattended bag. We went, ooh, unattended bag. And like you do, because it looked just like an unattended bag. And to be honest, you know, carefully disguised as an unattended bag, you know, and moustache, dark glasses, and everything. But they were just sitting over there looking, hey, I'm an unattended bag. And she was like, and so we thought, ooh, and, you know, we've sort of pulled back. But this guy was, you know, he's a member of the, the staff. So we thought, you know, he's been trained, he knows what he's doing. So um, we went, we sort of pulled back, and we just left it to him, and he went, oh, unattended bag, eh, right. And he went over, and he was going up to the bag. And he went up the bag and he thought, I was thinking, okay, it must be a routine, let's go approach the bag first of all. And, you know, do a cur you know, preliminary check and I was going up. And he went up the bag and he went up and he leaned over and he rattled it. <laughs> he really did, this is absolutely true, he rattled the bloody bag. And then he went, nah, it's just a bag. <laughs> and we're going, oh, Captain Clever! <laughs> Rattle it, if it doesn't go off, it can't be a bomb. You win. He did, this person did. It, I mean, because otherwise it's a stupid story. He did, he just rattled the bag. And I was going, I was there going, he's going to the chair, he's going to, it's a thing, it's a very tricky, he has to, he's like, what, what? And as he rattled it, I turned my shoulder to protect myself. <laughs> Would have made not much difference, but you do that thing, oh no. <laughs> oh, I'll just cover me. That'll help. So, Sorry, and um, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put this over This is quite fun, isn't it? Um, well, you don't know yet, but I mean, there's this rolling thing. You know, because people do that, they measure streets. Have you seen people who, who go down? They, it's not like that. They have a sort of a roundy thing and a handle, and they just go down like this. It's a bit of a, not a great job, I don't feel. <laughs> you know, on your career's advisory things. Well, I'm not... They do, they measure things, they say 10 metres, and then they go 20 metres, and then they add them up, and say, oh, quite a lot of metres. So this, this is, you can do that with this, that's quite fun. Quite so I'll leave that here.